All right. Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a great weekend now. We're on the weekend. The work week is finished. You're no longer working for the man. And you have time to relax, sit back. Unless you're uh, unfortunate enough to have to work on the weekends. <laughs> Which I did for years and years and years. <laughs> Worked weekends, holidays, and <laughs> there was puppy barking at an arch user. <laughs> Sick him, puppy, get him. Yeah, get him. Sick him. They said I use arch. Get him. Sick him. Get him. I'm going to have to pause the video. Hold on. I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> I trained her too well. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> today... Uh, I wanted to do a video <laughs> about installing the regular uh, Firefox or Firefox ESR <laughs> on Meolinux or any, uh, any other uh, distro you might be using <laughs> that's based on Debian. Now this is something I've done for years and years. Uh, I rarely if ever use what's provided in the uh, <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> I rarely if ever <laughs> use what's provided in the repositories <laughs> and generally use what is uh, what is available from <laughs> Ozilla. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you're watching this and you don't know me, I'm sorry. Uh, the people who know me will understand, but if you don't know me, you won't understand. So please forgive me. I'll try to get my laughing under control. Anyway, for years and years, I have used... Uh, the download straight from Mozilla instead of what's provided in the Debian or Dev1 repositories for Firefox. And today I wanted to show what I do. Now this has been kind of a... I've grabbed a little bit of things from here, a little bit of things from there things from Mozilla, things from what I found online, and kind of made my own way of installing Firefox and making it my default uh, browser on my systems. <laughs> so, I'm going to show how I do it. Now what we have here, this is a fresh install of Mio Linux Saluta Simplice, and what we're going to do, uh, what we're going to do today, <laughs> is install Firefox straight from Mozilla. Put it, uh, put it on our system, and I mean that's basically it. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's open up our file manager, and. Let's see, where is it? I put it in documents. There we go. Let's open up that with leaf pad. Let's see. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and close my beautiful face so that you can see what we're doing without any interruptions. So let's do that. All right, there we go. 
there's no more Mio there. All right, preliminaries. Make sure you have the required libraries installed. Now this is from the Mozilla website. Libc 2.7 blah 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 blah. All four of the above are already installed on Mio Linux. For sound in Firefox, <clears throat> if you're using only Alsa for sound, you will need to install a pulse to have sound in Firefox. However, it is already installed in the latest versions of Mio Linux. If you're using Pulse Audio, sound should work automatically. Okay. So if you're using just also, you need to install the package a, <clears throat> a Pulse so that you'll have sound in Firefox. And there's a little bit more to this, and we'll get to that in a little while. All right, let's download and install Firefox. Open a terminal and CD into the folder where you or where your download will be saved. For example, CD downloads. That's where I'm going to do it. Let me adjust this a little bit. There we go. CD downloads. And we're in downloads. All right, download Firefox or Firefox ESR 64 or 32-bit version. All right, to download the 32-bit version, change OS equals Linux 64 to OS equals Linux and the commands below. And if you need a language other than English equals or English US, let me go down to the, here we have other languages and replace language equals English US with whatever your language is. Okay. All right. I know I sound a little strange. <clears throat> I've not had much sleep lately, so I apologize for that. So we're going to download, uh, you can download Firefox or Firefox ESR. And I give instructions for both. If you want to download Firefox, enter the following command. If you want to download Firefox ESR, enter this following command. And of course that's in 64-bit and you'll need to change your OS and your language if you want 32-bit in a different language other than English US. So I'm going to change no I'm not going to change it I'm going to I'm going to download the 64-bit regular Firefox so I'm going to copy that I'm going to put it in this now before I do this let me open up the menu and here under network you see I don't have any I don't have a web browser okay so here we go now normally I use ESR but just for this, I'm going to use Firefox, uh, the regular version. Now we need to extract the file. Let's open up our file manager. Just so you can see what's going on. Oops. Just so you can see what's going on. <laughs> All right, there's that. Now let's untar it. And you notice here we have a new folder 
we have opened up this tar file and now we need to move the extracted Firefox folder to OPT. So let's do that. I'm going to copy that in my terminal. And the folder is no longer there and downloads. Now let's create a sim link to the Firefox executable. So I will copy this. All right. Now let's create a desktop file. Oh dear. First enter the following in the terminal to become root. So SU Enter my password, and now we're root. After becoming root, enter the following command: cd user local or user local share applications. And this isn't going to work. <gasps> oh. Dear, look at that. No such file or directory. What are we going to do? Well, let's create that directory. <laughs> Make dir user local share applications. Now let's CD into that again. Now I'm just using my arrow buttons to get back to the pre, uh, previous command. All right, now we're in there. Now we want uh, we want to use nano Firefox dot desktop. All right, and. You, as you see, this is an empty file. So what we're going to do, now look. If you are using ALSA, if all you're using is ALSA for sound, enter the following. And I'm using ALSA for sound. So let's copy all this and paste it here. Go down one line. Um, how to explain this? Now I know this is kind of. Uh, I used to use a much more simple desktop file, but I realized I needed all these MIME types. Okay, so you want that mime type and stuff. <laughs> Just trust me. If you don't trust me, don't put it in there. You don't have to. But if you do trust me, then put that in there. However, if you are using Pulse Audio for sound, then remove a pulse from X equals a pulse Firefox percent U, which is this right here. If you're using Firefox, let's go up to this. If you're using Firefox and pulse audio, then just remove a pulse. But I'm not using pulse audio. And I want a pulse to be able to give me the ability to use sound in Firefox. All right. So let's go down and hit Control X. Hit Y for yes and enter. All right. We have saved that file. 
All right, so Firefox should now be installed and available in your menu. So let's just test that out. First, I'm going to close down this terminal. I'm going to CD exit CD exit. I don't need this anymore. The file manager. I don't need this anymore. So let's open our menu. Go to network. Oh dear, look at that. We have Firefox. Let's click on it. Oh my word, look, it opened. Let's go to help about Firefox. It's check. Firefox is up to date. It's the latest version. And that will also work if you use Firefox ESR. All right. So there you go. I will post all these commands in the description. And if it won't let me, I will put a link where you can download these uh, instructions. There you go. Hope you guys have a great weekend and take care. And remember, if you use Arch, my dog will not like it. <laughs> All right, you guys take care. Thanks.